I've told you guys before, I live in the south around Nashville and we don't get a lot of winter weather, but we do occasionally get winter weather or what passes for winter weather down here and we are ill-equipped to handle it. That's one of the reasons I wanted to buy the Honda Element. This is about as bad as it gets around here. We get a little snow, we get a little ice. We don't have snow plows to go neighborhood to neighborhood and check things out. So you just kinda gotta deal with it on your own. So let's see how good we go in the snow here. official count is here but this is like a good I don't know four inches of snow or something on top of probably a half inch of ice uh, as long as I'm driving on the snow I'm getting plenty good traction the front wheel drive the five speed the clutch means that when I do get slip and I can hit the clutch and uh, you know, regain control pretty quickly it's just the way I'm used to driving in the snow here comes Mr. Jeep So that kind of makes my point. At any moment, your car can start spinning around and get out of control. So my advice for driving in the snow and the crappy weather that comes along during the winter is keep your distance from everyone. Don't drive next to the retaining wall. Don't tailgate somebody. Don't let somebody tailgate you. Because he may start spinning and you'll hit him, or you may start spinning and he'll hit you. So I grew up in uh, South Florida and um, I've lived in Nashville for the last almost 30 years. So take this for what it's worth. My advice when you're driving on the snow, the Honda Element is gonna be a really good car to get you to work. It's not an off-road vehicle, don't. Now all that said, you're gonna be out in this kind of crap weather. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to beat a Honda Element. This particular car is a two-wheel drive. They make an all-wheel drive, which isn't really a four-wheel drive. It's a... Uh, it's all one of those limited slip things when you when your tires start slipping it, it uh, like a traction control kind of thing you know i also keep a little backpack in the back in this kind of weather it's got a lighter and a can of sterno um, it's got some gloves and some extra socks and a sweatsuit and a raincoat that kind of stuff you know because if you end up in a ditch and you're gonna be there a while it's better to be prepared years ago i hit a deer one time and it was about 10 degrees outside. And I sat beside the road for four hours waiting for AAA to come get my truck. And I really thought I was gonna freeze to death because uh, I wasn't really dressed appropriately for the weather conditions. I didn't have my uh, survival pack with me, if that's what you wanna call it. And it didn't take long for the temperature inside that truck to get well below 20 degrees. In this area, cell phone coverage can be kind of spotty. Of course, when I hit the deer, I was in one of those dead spots. Uh, it was very hard to get a signal out. I could do it, but it, it was difficult. Kept dropping calls. And uh, I worried a little bit. It's one of the reasons I uh, don't drive my truck in the wintertime much anymore. Anyway, I hope this uh, video was of some value. If it was, like and subscribe. See you next week. Hopefully, we'll be fixing something.